Okay, so I finished bandaging ourselves up. Uh, I decided that we really didn't need to waste that much in the way of supplies on fixing up our body. It was only really our arms that were kind of damaged, so I just went with healing everything up to the same amount, which basically just meant bandaging our arms a whole ton. And I decided I was having a ton of fun with the game, so I want to continue going. So let's finish exploring this town. Um, I'm really interested in the gun store, so let's head for that first, I guess. We'll finish clearing out this house. Yes, yes, bit of zombie, I see you. You turn safe mode off. I'm really interested in finishing up this house, because we're in it already anyway, and then we'll head to the gun store. Hello, basement. I still have a little bit of a phobia of those. <laughs> I'm still a little bit concerned because I don't like the whole black widows living everywhere. Well, we don't see any webs straight up, so I think we're okay. Turn on the flashlight. There's something in here. A survivor zombie. Still wearing the tattered remnants of impro improvised armor and weaponry, it is plain to see that this zombie was once a survivor, like you. Oh dear. Oh. Oh my. Um, okay, we have absolutely got to have this basement. This is the sort of basement I was hoping the booze basement would be. This is basically a gun store on the cheap. So we've got a recoil stock, light amp goggles, yes, yes please. Okay, so light amp goggles, they're basically flashlights, except it, it's night vision, essentially, which means that you don't have a beam of light flashing about. But you can see in the night, which means that you won't attract zombies as easily when you go off on nighttime raids. I really want that. And... Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure you can... Oh yeah, you can use these to create grenades. Excellent, so we want those. There's 8 by 40 millimeter caseless, which is fairly useless for us, but could be useful later on. I don't know, I'm not sure whether we want to take everything. The holographic sight, I really want though. That will go well on our rifle. Even though a rifle scope would be better, a holographic sight is better than nothing. So let's see. Um, if there's only two of them, we can probably fight them. Might help if numpad was on. We can probably fight them in here. There's not. Okay. Alright, new plan. Hello, I see you. New plan is to go upstairs. Try to get them to follow us. Come on. Come fight me in the window. Yeah. I will cheese it. Oh, we should probably turn off our flashlight while we're up here as well. Seeing as we don't need it on. Hello. Strike, strike. Critical. Again. Now, hopefully, because survivor zombies are basically survivors. So they can have some really cool stuff on them. A cotton hat is ripped further. You bastard. How close to being dead is it? Oh, pretty close. Okay. It's nearly dead. It should be dead now. There we go. And this zombie, not so much of a problem. So that zombie, the survivor zombie, took a while to kill, which I'm hoping means it's got some armor on it. It's got an SKS. What's that fire? 7.62 by 39 millimeter. That could be good. A duster? Eh, not so much. Let's go see if there's anything else down there. I know only one zombie came up. Hello, sewer rat. Please go away. Fuck off. Alright, so there's definitely something else down here. Yeah, there's that other zombie. There's another survivor zombie? Really? Okay. I guess we'll do what we did just the again. Oh, there's two more survivor zombies. Okay. That, that could be really good. Because again, they usually have pretty decent gear. Oops. That's not what I want to do. I want to run away. Come on. Come to my window. What is that? Oh, they broke the stuff in the window. I see. Stabity, stabity. Zombie's dead. These guys, they're a bit of trouble. But our skill in piercing weapons is increased to five. And all this continual dodging will slowly level up our dodging skill as well. Actually, what is our dodging skill at? 
from level 1. So that, that's pretty decent. That's pretty good. And melee is almost at level 5, so a couple more of these strikes and we should get that. There we go, level 5. Keep stabbing them. So you'll notice that we're no longer getting those messages about the uh, the blade kind of getting stuck in a zombie, and, but being able to yank it out. And we're blocking damage with our knife spear, which is a lot better than what we were doing before. Come on. Wow, you really, really put some effort into destroying that, didn't you? Thankfully, it won't help you. Oh, oh, you bastard. My jacket. You son of a bitch. I like that jacket. Okay, so what did you have? You had a tactical helmet, survivor cargo pants. Those are actually probably better than the army pants that we have. And you can reinforce them. I wonder if you can take the Kevlar and stuff off of things that you already reinforced. I don't know. Maybe. A pair of tactical gloves and a pair of bone armor boots. Bone armor? Nah. That's not a big deal. Uh, the cargo pants might be pretty good, though. Now, where'd the other body end up? Book plate. That's like the poor man's armor, basically. A crude form of armor made from stacked paper and rolls of duct tape. This breastplate offers a surprising amount of protection. Yeah, but not really a big fan. Those, though, I am a big fan. And a survivor's note. The eye, it watches me, it follows me everywhere, help. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I can help you now. Survivor wetsuit gloves? That's interesting. Customized Kevlar armored neoprene gloves, modified to be easy to wear while providing maximum protection in extreme conditions. Okay. I will take this riot helmet, because it's possible that we'll find um, a soldering iron at some point and be able to disassemble it. We can get Kevlar from it. Which would be really, really good. Uh, oh, maybe we can't. Oh, I guess not. I guess I'm thinking of a different piece of equipment. In that case, we don't want it. Um, a brick kiln. See, that sounds like a good thing, but I think it's probably going to be one of those uh, long-term items that you won't need it until you're actually setting up a base. The SKS. I'm tempted. I'm going to pick it up. We might dump it, but I think I saw the ammunition for it down here, didn't I? Large pistol primer. Yes, I did. At least I think I did. I don't know. I saw some ammunition down here. I might have noticed that. And how many rounds are there, I wonder? It might be 80 rounds. If it's 80 rounds, we might have to make this our primary rifle. Because I don't think this Winchester will fit into the gun that we have, the sniper rifle. The 9mm, that could be really good. What else is there in here that we kind of want? A brass catcher, definitely. Recoil and adjustable stock. Yes, please. The light amp goggles, definitely the most important, though. So what do we got? We got one zombie. Oh, we have two zombies. Well, that's okay. We should be able to take you out. Come here. Stabity, 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 stab. A plastic shopping bag. Finally, my life is complete. Alright, come here. No. No biting. Biting is bad. Stab, stab, stab. Another hammer. So let's see. What have we got here that we kind of want? Well, we want the shotgun ammunition, because we can use it to create um, explosives, and I don't plan on ever using shotguns. They're loud. They don't have very long range. Pretty useless. Um... What else we got here? Can we use those to create stuff? 20 by 66 millimeter caseless shotgun rounds. Priority ammunition for RivTech shotguns. Being caseless rounds, they cannot be disassembled. Okay, so they're pretty useless. Conical ball 22. Nearly silent. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. It's basically a subsonic round that's nearly silent, but so weak that it's useless. 45 super would be nice if we actually had a rifle or a pistol that fired 45. Maybe one of the guns up the back does. Yeah. The HK UMP does. Um, baseball bat? No. Adjustable stock? Actually, I'm pretty sure 
We picked up some stuff that we don't need as well. Like that baseball bat? No. We don't need it. Uh, keep the rifle. The casings. The power storage CBM. I'm just gonna actually... I'm gonna not worry about stuff here. I'm gonna grab the light amp goggles. And the sight, seeing as it's sitting right there. And I'm gonna go get our truck. I'm gonna go grab our truck. Because there's a ton of stuff here that we want to pick up. So it makes sense that we should go grab that so it's nice and close when we decide to loot everything. And then we'll go have a look in the uh, in the gun shop. See if there's anything good. And plus if we go get the truck then we don't have to come back for our sledgehammer later. Because sledgehammers can be used to break down walls which is very very important because you will need to do that to get into places like gun shops unless you happen to have like a, a really really high powered thing like a welder. I think welders can break the bars. Or melt them, rather. Maybe a soldering iron can? I don't know. Let's slow it down, because we don't want to crash. Up a bit. Up a bit. There we go. That should see us through. Plus, bringing this down here means that we can uh, siphon fuel off of cars and such easier. Um, I think here should do. Let's stop there. There we go. Stop driving. Okay, so what do we got that we don't want? Um, I'm going to dump it into this seat. So the SKS can sit in there. The marbles, the shotgun slugs, the hacksaw because we don't need it just yet. And the light amp goggles I will hold on to. First aid kit, bandages, caffeine, codeine, and the disinfectant. That can sit in there, that can sit in there. The casings, do they actually weigh anything? No, they can stay with me then. You heard an alarm go off. Yes, I don't care. Alarms, whatever. Those are going to be irritating for the rest of the time that we're in this town. So let's have a look. Ooh, ooh. Mansion. Hell yes. Okay. New goal? That booze basement? That's fantastic. But the mansion is even better. So we're going to loot the rest of this town. And then that's where we're going. Because libraries, safety, easy to clear out area, probably a ton of food. If we're really lucky, weapons. So let's... How much space have we got right now? A fair bit. Okay, we're going to go grab all of the stuff that we want out of the basement. We're going to put on the light amp goggles and activate them. There we go. Now we're just like Sam Fisher. How quickly does it use the power on them? Eh, not too fast, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, so, let's see. Well, we want the stocks. CQB monthly is something we read already. Flaché round. Mm. No, that's not particularly useful. A throwing axe. A lightweight hatchet made for throwing. It's ineffective cutting edge and lightweight makes it unsuitable for use as a tool. But there's also a hatchet. And it's useful for fine hammering? That might actually be better than the hammer we've got. Hammering quality of three, one fine hammering quality, but the hatchet actually had some other stuff. 16 butchering and one cutting. Butchering is very important because you can get CBMs from some advanced zombie types. So yeah, hatchet's in. Pair of ballistic glasses. We can probably take those apart and get some decent stuff out of them. So let's do that. Well, let's take them with us, and we can decide later if we want to take them apart. I want the 9mm rounds. Um, and I want those. So what's here? Shoulder strap? Yes. Brass catcher? Yes. Eh. I... It's... Oh, it's not 5... It's 5 by 50 millimeter. I was thinking maybe it was 5.56, but no. In that case, we do not want it even in the slightest. 
We'll take the flashlight because we can take the batteries out of it. Large pistol primer, yes. Because eventually if we're able to create our own bullets, that, that will be very, very useful. A shotgun hull, maybe. I'll say no for now. Is there any gunpowder in here? There's a submachine gun enthusiast book. That could be useful, but on the other hand, probably not. And we'll take the 9mm. 8x40mm caseless is nice, but uh, there's very few guns that actually fire it, so I'm going to ignore it. That I will take. Can we disassemble these rounds? I actually want to know, if you can disassemble rounds, no, you can't. Well, I'll keep the 270 Winchester. It might go into our rifle. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, in that case, dumped. And we will take that. 80 rounds is pretty good. I might actually swap that to our primary rifle in that case, because 80 rounds is much better than the 20 or so we started with. And it should be comparable. So what's this? Inspired by the improved 270, Alexander Saf Sarafanov himself developed this 652 by 42 millimeter rifle cartridge for his new SVS-24 assault rifle. So, ammunition for a gun we don't have. That can't be taken apart and can't be used in anything. Nope. See, if there was a Winchester down here, I would totally take those bullets, because 40 of them? Worth it. Oh, it's only... Okay, there's actually not that many of the uh, of the bullets in terms of the Super 45. So even if there was a even if there was a reason to take the HM H and K, I'm just completely messing it up. The H and K UMP 45. Uh, there's not enough bullets to justify it, so we won't bother with it. The Mosin Nagant doesn't actually fire the rounds that we have. It fires 7.62 millimeter. It's probably a better sniper rifle. The eight, the SKS is more of a carbine, but a carbine's not the worst thing in the world, especially if you put a suppressor onto it. Is there anything else in here that we want to grab? No, absolutely nothing. Okay, let's line ourselves up with the door and turn those goggles off. So that that's actually pretty good. Those goggles lasted a bit. They run off batteries. So we should be able to get some good stuff out of it. Let's actually have a quick look and see what we've got in here. So we've got more 9mm, full metal jacket round, and what's that? Internal pressure. Oh, it's armor piercing ammunition. That might actually be useful. At any rate, we'll see what else is in here first before making judgment. A Mossberg. A holster, yeah, 9mm casing, I kind of want those, because when we're able to make our bullets for ourselves, we'll want to be able to create well, bullets for the things that we have. And a ballistic mask, Kevlar and plastic. If nothing else, we can take it apart. And that holster, yeah, I kind of want that. So let's head back up to the truck. How much space is left in here? Tons. Alright, we're just going to dump everything in here. Dump you in there, dump you in there, dump the hatchet. Dump the ballistic glasses. Dump the full flashlight. And all of the weapon mods. Except for... This one. Oops. Because we can put that onto our current rifle. Just for now at any rate. So put the adjustable stock onto you, there we go, that makes it even better at firing. Uh, an adjustable stock, if I remember correctly, will... Where is it? Oh, it doesn't say exactly, but an adjustable stock means that you'll get better accuracy and less recoil when you fire. Pretty significant. Where is that zombie? Oh, I went all the way back to the truck and I didn't even grab the sledgehammer. Because I'm an idiot. Where's the sledgehammer? There it is. Yes. And we'll wield it. And I think we'll go in right here. Womp, womp, womp. More womping. Why are we still in pain? I don't actually know. We didn't get bitten. 
I guess mainly just the injuries, I suppose. From the west, you hear an alarm go off. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck did I do? Okay, that's not good. Um, I crushed most of the stuff that we came in for. Actually, no, I didn't. Is the holster still around? Yeah, I just crushed the gun that was in here. That's okay. We try to keep your balance. We should be fine. I think we set off the alarm for this thing, though. Is there anything behind? Nope. So yeah, the uh, the danger with using a sledgehammer to bust your way into a gun shop is that you can knock out one of the really important bits of the wall and cause the roof to cave in. Yeah. That can be a bit of a problem. Alright, how much space have we got left over? It might be worth going into the next house and just checking that. We got plenty. Alright, let's get out the knife spear again, because the sledgehammer's good and all, but it's not good against... Hello. I might come back for your meat. Um, the sledgehammer is good and all, but it's not really a weapon that we're practiced with. Hello. Are you wreckage? Yeah, there's a wreckage there. Is there any gas in it? No. It looks like a... A semi-truck? Yeah, that's a semi-trailer. You can't actually attach and detach semi-trailers, which is annoying. So they're of limited use. The zombie dog bites the giant jumping spider. Because of course it does. Alright, let's use our halogen bar. Oh, come on. You know you want to. There we are. Alright, what do we got in here? Some drinks, not really anything we need to worry about, but because we aren't full anymore, I'm going to eat this food and drink our orange juice. Now we have two things. Why are we still in pain? I am confused. I guess it's just leftover. You a pair of dress shoes? I see a zombie dog. Where is it? Oh, it's way off to the south. Shouldn't have to worry about it for a while then. Although the alarm going off will probably get it to come over. Irradiated apple? Yes. Yes. Clean water, definitely. Orange. Apple cider. Is that alcoholic apple cider? Or is that just regular apple cider? Looks like regular. You grab the water as well. Because I expect we'll probably be spending a lot of time in that... Ooh. A music CD. Ah, okay, that's really important. That's really good. A music CD is amazing because as long as we are able to get a stereo system, we can set up a vehicle, we can power it with some batteries, and then we can use the uh, we can use the stereo system as a portable MP3 player. Well, okay, less portable than an actual MP3 player, but it runs off the car battery, which means that it's going to last a lot longer, and you don't have to waste batteries on it. So that is super awesome. We are just getting so lucky on this playthrough. I, <laughs> when's the shoe gonna drop? I'm <laughs> fedora. I kind of want it, but on the other hand, no. <laughs> um. All right. Well, let's go down. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh my. One zombie down here. It's like a personal library again. This. This is actually really nice. Is that a bed or a table? It's a rock floor with a table. What do you have in here? Probably nothing particularly good, but those lockers might have some stuff in them. And what is that? Is that a stove? Is that an oven? That's a charcoal smoker. Eh, not as good as I thought then. Alright, come on, zombie. Come on. There you go. Stabity, stabity, stabity. No, don't bite my leg. My leg is mine. Fast noodles. Best noodles. Alright, let's check the lockers. Nothing. Bubble wrap and a glass jar. Eh. We don't need it. Heavy stick and a plastic bag. Spray can and a glass bowl. Standpipe maintenance log. I can't imagine why you would ever want that. I think that maybe there's a mission to 
uh, to go get one. But apart from that mission, I can't imagine why you would ever want to bother. Sci-fi novel. Okay, this is nice and all, but didn't really have anything we wanted. Then again, then again, who am I to complain? We've got super duper duper lucky so far with everything that we've picked up. So no complaints, just puzzlement. Okay, cool. Let's let's deposit all of this stuff back into our car. Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Uh, they're probably in that house or in the bowling alley. I'm assuming the bowling alley because it looks a little bit further away. Okay, so we've pretty much got everything that we need to set up shop. Uh, the only thing that we really want over what we've already got is a uh, um, actually yeah I'll just shove all of this stuff in there uh, the only thing that I'd actually want apart from what we've already got is possibly a watch or at least a clock of some kind because those are super important themselves uh, let's throw all of these in there because knowing what time it is, it's more of a comfort thing, but if you want to try and... like, Because you do want to set up something of a regular sleep schedule with your character, because if you don't, then you'll be waking up at really weird times, and you'll have to burn batteries and stuff to read and all that other fun stuff that you need to do to keep your character going. And I prefer not to do that. Okay, so we're, we are still in pain a lot. I'm going to take another codeine. I would if I hadn't put it into the truck. Alright, give me the code in. I'm a little bit concerned because we shouldn't be in this much pain. I'd like something that isn't quite as um addictive though. I'd like a I'd like aspirin. If we could find it. Okay, so first things first. Hello car. You have a ton of fuel. Gimme. I mean, it's not really a ton, but fuel is fuel. Fill, fill. Oops. I don't know what I just put that into. Zombie spotted, stop construction. No. I'll put it in there. There's some left over. Okay, there's a little bit more in there. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. No, stop it. Stop it. Fill and fill. That spitter zombie sees us, of course it does. Uh, that iBot is possibly a problem. iBots will summon security. As I believe I had mentioned. And that's not a good thing. If they take a photo of you, you'll probably get a, a riot bot on you. Which is not good. Because it means that it will try to tase you. And tasing, it's like the shocker, the shocker zombie. On speed. I do not want it. Alright, we'll check out those houses in a minute, but for now, I want to go have a quick look at the grocery store. And all the other stuff that's up here. A stereo system? Can we remove it? Do we have the ability? You need a wrench and a hacksaw. And level 2 mechanic skill to remove it. So yes, we can. Um, if we want to install a part... Oh, well, I guess we couldn't really look at that. But basically, you will need a wrench and powered welders to do this. I would ideally like to create a... Uh, I'd ideally like to grab some solar panels, create a solar battery bank, and create a vehicle welding rig so we could um, we could run... Our manufacturing off the power of the sun that would be pretty nice uh, did you have any fuel you did I'll be taking that and there's some left over I'll be taking that too so about half a bottle and you have a ton of fuel as well nice the only way this could get better would be if we had a jerry can um, let's see have we got anything that only has one drink left in it no Alright, well, let's see, do we have perishable stuff? Yes, we do. We have the cranberry juice. So let's drink the cranberry juice. I'm wasting it a little bit, 
but I'd rather have the uh, I'd rather have the fuel at the moment because we have a ton of perishable food and drink. It's fairly easy to come across, like water and such. It's fairly easy to come across. You don't have to worry too much about finding it. Top Gear magazine. Uh, well, we know what that one's about. What's this about? Driving techniques. Okay, so that's probably a good one for us. Lessons of the novice bow hunter. I really don't care. Trap and field. Yeah, probably a good plan. 